Hello everybody and welcome back for another free sing lesson here. We've got Olivia here um, again. We're recording quite a few videos today, all the vocal exercises. So hopefully if you've um, already done the EAI exercise, which is the first one with Olivia, and the IE, IE, IE Mar exercise, you'll be ready now to have a go at stretching. Do you know what comes next? Maria. You remember that one? Yeah. Okay, so the word we're working on, we're going to work the E vowel using the word Maria. Um, can you demonstrate for us? Mm -hmm. Now remember, if you're watching this and you're, uh, you should be a young girl who is either 7, 8, 9, 10, possibly 11 years old. Um, Olivia is 9. And how tall are you, Olivia? Ah. Uh. Roughly? 5? No. 4 foot? Yeah, yeah, I think about 4 foot. You're about that big. <laughs> okay, so if you're about the same age, the same sort of size as Olivia, you're most likely going to have a very, very similar voice type. And um, when you speak, if your voice sounds a bit like Olivia's, you've, you've got the same voice type going on. Most girls of this age have a, the same kind of voice type. So sing along with Olivia and you've got a really good demonstration of what you should be doing. Hmm. Can you show them how it goes? Maria. Excellent. Now the rolled R is a big help here. So can you roll your R? Have a go. Show us. She's very good at it, but some people struggle. So if you struggle, you can always instead sing my Leah. Uh, can you show us my Leah instead? My but the main thing is that we're going up and down on the E vowel here, and that's 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 the main point. I say up and down, when we go up what we call up the scale or down the scale, we shouldn't think upwards or downwards. We should think really um, like we're expanding and relaxing, or like rather like you're stretching and relaxing. So we stretch when we go to high notes and we relax as we go to low notes. And it's best to think of it as a sideways thing rather than anything up or down, because the thing which is producing the sound of vocal cords, they stretch uh, a back and they have to maintain their shape by um, making sure that they stay a little bit sideways. So any thought of up or down can cause a few problems. So try to avoid that. Olivia's been having lessons for quite a few years, so she doesn't really think up or down too much anymore, unless something unusual happens in her throat. Good, right, show us a Maria exercise, here we go. Have a listen and then you can go back to the beginning of the video and sing along with Olivia in a minute. Perfect. Maria. Excellent. All these exercises that Olivia's been doing, and this one is the same, are done in a mixed voice. That's a mix of the head voice and the lower resonance. Um, let's call it the speaking voice. Chest voice, not, not really. That's kind of reserved for a lower term. But there's, it's a mix of head resonances and chest resonances. Can you put your hand on your chest? And when you sing this exercise, I want you to tell me afterwards whether you feel any buzzing under your hand. Deep breath. Maria. Do you feel anything buzzing under your hand there? Oh, uh, yeah, a bit. Not a lot. Did you? So you felt a tiny bit. Did you feel it on the ma or on the e? Uh, or not sure? Not sure. Okay, have another go. Do you think so? Yeah. It's hard to tell. It's a very slight sensation, so you can just feel that for yourself. But the E vowel has a little bit more head resonance about it, and the R vowel has a little bit more of the lower resonances about it. So you definitely would feel a little bit of buzzing on the, on, on, on the chest when she gets to the R vowel. And we want that. We're trying to mix up the head resonances and the, and the lower resonances until the voice becomes a nice blend of the two. And each vowel has its own kind of resonating harmonic structure. So it's absolutely correct the way she's doing it at the moment, and that will build her voice. Maria. Maria. Good girl. Last one. Maria. 
Good. Now the head voice has often been described as the oil of the voice. It's the thing that makes the voice move very, very easily. And there's plenty of head resonance and head voice qualities about um, Olivia's voice. There's a few other things about head voice. It's not just about uh, resonance. It's about how the vocal cords kind of shape themselves and how they move, how relaxed they are, which muscles are coming into play, whether it's the thyroid muscle or the cricothyroid muscle. But you don't have to worry about that too much. So long as you um, don't just rely on YouTube videos for singing lessons, but actually find a really good teacher near you, preferably somebody with a similar kind of voice to you. So if you're a young girl like Olivia, perhaps find a, a young soprano who's in her young to, um, early 20s or something who's had a lot of training, and she can guide you through and show you exactly when it's just the right sound. Of course, if you live near to me, you can always book a singing lesson with me. Just go on my website, www.georgetorman.com and you can book a lesson and come and see me and we can work through your voice um, specifically for you. Um, one more. Maria. Perfectly. Can you do that one once more? Something to watch out for on this one when it's very low. The R is going to the deep sound. Can you feel that? Yeah. yeah. So we want to go there as slowly as possible. Maria. So if we travel slowly, deliberately bending the notes, sliding down the scale, and opening up to the R very slowly, it'll just draw more of the head resonances into it. Do you want to try that? Mm -hmm. Good girl. Perfect. So if you do your low notes like that, that'll help to get a little bit more of the head voice qualities into the low notes, keep the vocal cords stretching nicely. Right, let's go up to the high notes, see how you get on. Um, we'll start for you there. Deep breath, go for it. Maria. Very good. One hand on your chest. Excellent rolled R, that really helps to get the sound deep. Well done. Feel any buzzing there now? Yeah. Still a little bit? No. Good. Open wide. Maria. Did you notice it go with that one? Yeah. Yeah. What did you notice? Um, it kind of went off key a bit. Uh, yes, yeah. okay. So as the voice stretches on these high ones and you get some movements in the, in the um, cartilages in the, in the larynx, um, it's correct, her, it's absolutely correct what she did and her voice is starting to stretch. But because it's stretching, it kind of surprised her and it went just a fraction too high, a bit higher than the note that we were playing on the piano. But that's actually quite a good sign because it means her voice is stretching. And we're doing this exercise to, so that she can practice stretching her voice and get everything warmed up in there. Can we go that one once more? Make sure you don't think up. Try and think down a little bit and sideways like it's stretching. Maria. Very good. It's a very difficult note. Maria. Takes a lot of energy, these high notes, doesn't it? You feel it all squeezing around here. Very good. Deep breath. Use those muscles. Maria. Well done. Now that's the highest note she's tried today. It's the F sharp. And did you notice it went a fraction out of tune again? Yeah. And that's kind of normal. So we tried to bring it into tune, of course. Should we have another go and just see if you can keep it down on the pitch? Go a bit quicker. Much better. So that's the way to bring it into pitch. Don't beat yourself up. Don't be cross that you went slightly out of tune. Just do it again and it'll gradually you'll find where to place that note so it stays bang in tune. Should we try one more? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is quite extreme. We'll try a, a top G. Maria. Well done. Now the voice changes a little bit at that point. Did you feel it? Yeah. Good. And the throat just starts to close a little bit. And that allows, well, the vocal cords close, throat doesn't close, vocal cords close together, and that allows Olivia to do actually three more. Can we do three more? Mm -hmm. A bit quicker, a bit lower in your body. Maria. Well done.
Well done. I think last one. Let's have a go at it, see how your voice stretches. Keep your head down a bit. Go for it. Go. Very impressive, right up to a top A. So these notes are likely to be, as you can hear there, a tiny bit wild. They're not likely to be quite as refined as the easier notes down the scale, um, but you shouldn't worry about that. Have a go at them. Get your voice stretching up there. Get used to those notes. Can we try the top B flat? Okay, well done. This is the highest even the professionals would do on this exercise, even the professional adults. So it'd be very, doing very well to hit that one. Just turn this way a little bit so they can see exactly how much effort you're putting in. Open wide. Go for it. Well done, you did it. Okay, that's pretty extreme. So don't worry if you can't get all the way up there. Um, but with practice, and if you keep repeating and get some lessons with a really good teacher, I'm sure you will be able to get up there really soon. So thanks very much to Olivia. Say goodbye to everyone Bye. who's watching. Uh, so it's great that she shared that with you. Uh, thanks for that, Olivia. And um, click subscribe and click notification.